Zoom is a popular web conferencing platform that has a variety of group collaboration features, such as recording, polling, and breakout rooms. It can be used to host class and team meetings, as well as trainings. All PLU members have access to Zoom through their ePass at plu.edu slash zoom. For basic web conferencing, Google Meet can also be considered as an alternative to Zoom. To start using Zoom, navigate to plu.edu slash zoom and log in with your ePass. If you experience issues logging in, email helpdesk at plu.edu. Use the tabs to the left to navigate through Zoom tools and setup options. In the Meetings tab, you can access upcoming and previous meetings, as well as schedule new ones. Be aware that only your own hosted meetings will appear here, and you won't be able to view the meetings scheduled by other users. The Settings tab will allow you to personalize your experience using Zoom and turn on and off different features. To the top of the screen, you can Schedule a Meeting, Join a Meeting, or host a meeting. If you decide to host a meeting from here, you may be prompted to download Zoom software, which is recommended. To schedule a meeting from the Zoom client, click Schedule. Then, fill out all appropriate fields in the meeting details. Be sure to select Google Calendar. Additional options can be found under Advanced Options. When ready, click Save. The meeting details will open up in Google Calendar. From here, you can add guests. Joining instructions can be found in the Details window. This is the link that can be used for hosts and participants to join the meeting. If you want to schedule Zoom sessions within Google Calendar, an add-on called Zoom for G Suite can be installed. If you're scheduling Zoom sessions that are part of a class, consider using the Zoom Meetings tool within Sakai. More information about using Zoom in Sakai can be found in the PLU Knowledge Base. Within the Zoom client, you can start a new meeting on the fly by clicking New Meeting. If you know the ID for a meeting, you can click the Join Meeting button to join the meeting. Otherwise, you'll need to click the Join link that was sent to you by the host. Previously scheduled meetings will appear to the right. You can click the Start button to launch the meeting. Meetings can also be started with the link that's in the Google Calendar or Sakai site if applicable. See our other video for an overview of meeting controls. PLU Zoom accounts for students and staff are basic by default. Basic accounts have no time limit for one-on-one -on -one meetings, and meetings with three or more participants can be 40 minutes long. All faculty Zoom accounts are licensed. Licensed Zoom accounts are available for staff that need to host long meetings with Zoom-specific features. Otherwise, Google Meet can be considered as a web conferencing option as it doesn't have any time limits. If you have questions or need assistance, contact itech at plu.edu.